Hey guys, this is Justin. In today's video, we're going to do a really cool quad monitor setup using two of TE Smart's 4x2 KVMs. This is actually the third video in a series about these KVMs. The first video was a quick introduction. The second video was a little deeper dive into the feature set. And today's video is kind of an advanced setup. A couple of things that you'll notice when we go through the process today. The first is we're only going to use two computers. You could use four computers if you wanted to. We chose to just do two because there's already enough cables and it's a little bit harder for you guys to follow along when it gets busy in the back of the KVMs. The other thing is we really don't suggest using mode two or split desktop with the two cascaded KVMs together. The reason for that is it's a little complicated. It's not as smooth as when you're using one KVM. So just think of it as you're going to do all four monitors to one PC at a time. All right, let's talk a little bit about the environment. So here we have our four monitors. They all have different resolutions. And we have our M2 Mac Mini, which only has three video outputs. And so we're going to use this Targus dock with the Mac Mini. A little unusual to use a dock with a, a desktop, but it works out really well for us. Now here we have our two KVMs. The top one is the master, and the bottom one is going to be the slave. And then we have our Lenovo Yoga. Now we're using a D6000 dock in the back. And that D6000 dock is providing power to the Yoga via the USB-C connection here. All right, let's go to the back of the table here. And over here, we have our D6000. One thing that we're going to get into is it only has three video outputs, and you need to have four video connections. So we're actually going to run the fourth connection directly to the Yoga. And we have our two KVMs. To save a little time, we already ran the outputs to the monitors. And then we have the mouse and keyboard plugged in here. Now to cascade these two, all we're going to do is use this little aux cable here. And we're just going to plug it into the DCCI port. And what that's going to do is when we send a switching command to the master, the slave is going to get that same command. Over here, we have our Targus dock. This dock is really good. We've had no complaints about it. It's a little bit pricey. And the reason why is we're going to see this because four HDMI or four DisplayPort outputs. So the utility of this dock is phenomenal and it works with either model of these four by two KVMs. All right, let's go ahead and hook this up. So we're going to start with the Targus. And we're going to start with using the KVM cables, which is just an HDMI and a USB connector on the same cable. Let's plug in the USB there. Let's plug in our second video connection. Now let's bring that over here and we're going to use input three. The one thing that's really important is that you connect the USB to your master. And then the video connection, second connection. Now let's grab a couple more HDMI cables. These cables actually come in the box, it comes with everything that you need to connect it as long as you don't need any adapters. And here is the third video and the fourth video. All right, let's grab those HDMI cables. Let's plug it into the third one here, and then the fourth one. Now, that's what makes a Targus dock so nice. It's super simple. The D6000, on the other hand, is a little bit more complicated in the fact that it's got one HDMI and two display ports. So we're gonna plug in our KVM cable first. Here and here. And then we're going to use two DisplayPort 2 HDMI cables to connect this KVM. Now, one thing about adapters is we always recommend using the Avico adapters. They're made with the same chipsets that's inside the KVM, so it's 100% compliant. And you'd be surprised at how many other adapters that we see that just don't work with the KVMs. And there's, for some reason, the standards just really aren't that standard. All right, so we come here to input A. And then we're going to plug in our USB into the master. Then we're going to plug one of our display port to HDMI cables. And then we're going to plug in the other display port to HDMI cables. Oops, plug that into number three. All right, and for the fourth video connection, we're going to run that to the front with a USB-C to HDMI cable. As you can see on the cable itself, it actually says right there USB-C to HDMI. I should have pointed that out here. It says right on our cable as well, display port to HDMI, so you always know which way the cable adapts from and to. All right, let's plug in our USB-C. Run that to the front. Put in this little placeholder. Now let's go back to the front of the desk and finish the setup. 
So here, let's put in our video connection, the fourth connection to the Yoga. And let's see how we did here. Let's turn these on. Okay. Now let's switch over to input three, which is the Mac Mini. I'll give it a second. So it has to do all the handshakes and the resolutions. They have to be in agreement with all the the connection points here and the whole the whole string. All right. Let's see. We got here one, two, three, four. We got lucky. Everything is arranged in the right order. If it's not, it's very simple. Most people know how to do this. You come here to the Apple logo, system settings. You come down here to displays and then you just click on arrange and then move them in the order that they're on your actual physical desktop. All right, let's switch over to input one, which is the yoga. We got one, two, three, four. Let's see if we're lucky here. One, two, three, four. All right. This one's already set up as well. And here on Windows, same thing. If you need to rearrange the monitors, you just right click, go down to display settings. Bring that over here. And then you just move these around and you'll hit apply when you're done. And then once you're set up and you switch back and forth, you don't have to rearrange the monitors. Everything stays the same way. This is EDID with these HDMI models. And you can switch in a number of ways. You could use the remote control, for example, or you could use the hotkey like I did earlier, or you can use the push button. All right, that's it for today's setup video. If you guys need some help looking for adapters or what type of KVM is the right one for you to use, we highly recommend that you come over to Buy TE Smart and you fill out our intake form. We're just gonna ask for your make and model of the computers and the monitors, maybe even your keyboard and mouse. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna provide to you the KVM that you need for your environment, as well as any adapters and also a specific setup guide that's tailored to what you need to know. All right, that's it for today. Thanks and have a great day.